Hi, I'm Matt Hagney, and at Exapta Solutions, we try pretty hard to make sure that we're advancing no-till seeding technology. We spend a lot of time in research and development and trying to make sure we really have better products than anyone else. Today we're going to talk a little bit about seed bounce flaps on the John Deere 50, 60, and 90 series seed boots, particularly the 50 and 90 series. When these are running in the soil, typically the boot uh, is about an inch and three quarters above the bottom of the furrow, provided your blades are somewhat new and you're in the middle mounting hole for the boot, which is a good thing. The OEM John Deere flap sets mounts on this boot about like this. And due to dragging on the sidewall of the furrow, since it's a very square flap and fairly thin, it drags up like this and you have this triangular gap being formed right here above this this is usually about even with the soil line here and this triangular gap allows seeds to escape when we came to the market with uh, or decided we wanted to do something with seed bounce flaps we looked at it and thought, well, why does everyone use a straight flap there, other than it's cheap and easy to build? We wanted one with a forward bend that would help close this gap and keep the seeds where they belong. As you can see, unlike the deer flap, ours starts uh, angled down very, very far ahead of this rear corner. So even as it drags a little bit along the bottom of the furrow, there's still no gap here at all. Uh, it might be dragging up like this. There's no gap there for seeds to escape. Some might say, well, this is not very, uh, you know, why flexible? Well, flexible is an advantage in this case. It, for one thing, it ensures that the flap is never going to break. There's no brittleness here. You can do all sorts of things to it and it springs back into shape. The other thing is that we're looking for basically a curtain here. Not necessarily something that's protruding way back, but something that's more like a curtain to knock the seeds down into the bottom of the furrow. Now competitors have uh, had flaps that are much thicker than the OEM, and this is an improvement, no doubt, over OEM. But these start out very long, uh, a couple inches longer and trail very far rearward of the boot and even though they're tapered uh, they still will drag the rest on the sidewall to some extent and bend up like this uh, you can see that they lose a lot of length fairly quickly our flap doesn't need a lot of pressure on it since it fits down in the furrow very nicely it's not hanging out way back and dragging hard in the soil since it fits the furrow nicely, there's no need for pressure. So to recap, our Ninja flap is very easy to install. It's just a bolt through here. There's no need for a nut on the back side, unlike the competitor flaps. And they're super durable. We know of farmers who have ran them for 10,000 acres on a 40-foot drill and they're still in great shape. Unlike other flaps, it would have been worn out by this time. We didn't just dream this up one day and throw it on the market. It took us a couple of years to find the right compound and the right shape. These are just a sampling of all the different comparisons we ran, trying to make sure that we had a very durable flap and one that would stay down in the furrow and put the seeds where they needed to be.